Hi guys, um, so this is the second part to, um, the Tisha Biav videos. Um, I, there was just some, some more things I wanted to cover, so I wanted to come back and share that. Uh, as, as I pointed out, um, last Saturday, Jewish Shabbat, these are the, um, the Haftarah and the Torah portions that they read in synagogue, and the uh, theme is, and I pleaded, that is what va echadan means, and it was Isaiah chapter 1, where the Lord is saying, you know, you're, you're rebellious, and you're going to be punished for that, and then in chapter 40, as you see here, it's verse 1 through 26, and actually this Shabbat, this Saturday, on the 1st, they will be reading Isaiah 40, 1 through 26, again, for the Haftarah portion. And, um, as you see here, it says a Saturday after the fast of the ninth of the 5th month, or the ninth of Av, or Tisha B'Av. And it means reward from, in, and comfort. So, you guys, I don't know, I'm not saying anything's getting ready to happen, but remember that Isaiah 40 is prepare the way for the Lord, and like I said, uh, Strong's 414 in the Greek points to it being more tolerable in, on the day of judgment for Sodom and Gomorrah than for the city that refuses those who would hear the gospel, which is pointing to when the 144,000 called out ones are sent out. Um, and then, yeah, do you see how everything's tying together? I, he has been showing me 414. I see it all the time. And I, it just, I didn't understand what he was talking about until just now, because it was for now. So, um, I read this in my last videos and, it's, here is your God, behold your God, Judah. Something is getting ready to happen. Here, this is from yesterday, on Monday, July 27th. They are on high alert because they, they bombed a place in Lebanon, and it's been heating up there for at least for the past week or so. I don't, I haven't really been following it that closely, but things are heating up over there. And so judgment is coming. Judgment is coming for both sides because that's what scripture is, is warning of. And with Tisha B'Av coming up in a couple of days, it's warning of it. So, I wanted to show you in Zephaniah 2.14, um, in the Hebrew 7.31 for the date of 7.31, which could be a resurrection day. I don't know. I'm not saying that it is, but it's interesting how everything is connecting. It is talking about cedar panels or cedar work, cedar represents in, in the word a strong tree the cedars of Lebanon oh my gosh that just oh my gosh oh my gosh you guys this is judgment judgment falling on those cities the enemies of quote unquote Jacob I'm not going to say the Oh my goodness. It's saying that desolation shall be in the thresholds for she, he shall uncover the cedar work. In other words, buildings are going to be destroyed. The strength of the buildings are going to be made desolate. And all throughout the word, the cedars are, it's the cedars of Lebanon. And oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, pray for them, 
Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, please. Oh my gosh. I remember what I read in my last video. I hadn't even... I, I, I was just barely glancing on the beehive cluster because I have covered it in videos in the past and so has our sister Sabine and other people. But... <laughs> he shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arm and carry them in his bosom and shall gently lead those that are with young. This is... The beehive cluster represents where the two, well, it's in I, um, Sabine's first video that I pointed out in this first video. But remember, Arcturus, the constellation of boots, represents the sheepfold. Cancer represents the sheepfold. Or he, constellation of boots represents the shepherd and... Cancer, the constellation of Cancer represents the sheep fold. It's, oh my gosh, you guys, everything is tying together. The Lord is speaking clearly. Oh my goodness, I just pulled up uh, the other half drop portion that they'll be reading this Saturday is Isaiah 49 through 51. Uh, Isaiah 49, 14 through 51, 3, but I began reading it. You guys, this is, this is talking about the called out ones that he will be sending out. The Lord hath called me from the womb, from the bowels of my mother hath he made mention of my name. He knows them all by name. And he hath made my mouth like a sharp sword. This will be the gospel. In the shadow of his hand hath he hid me. And made me a polished shaft, and his quiver hath he hid me. He said unto me, Thou art my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Oh my gosh, you guys, um, is this... Is this and now saith the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob, Jacob again to him. Though Israel be not gathered, yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord, and my God shall be my strength. And he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldst be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob. And to restore the preserved of Israel, I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles, that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. The tribes of Jacob, that's the 144,000. I'm sorry, I'm kind of reading this. I'm just now reading this as I'm recording, so let me pause and read some more. Oh my goodness, you guys. Thus saith the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel, and His Holy One. Who is His Holy One? Jesus. To Him, whom man despiseth, despiseth, sorry, despiseth. To Him, whom the nation abhorreth. They hate Him. Remember, He said, the world hath hated Him. And it will hate us. To a servant of rulers, kings shall see and arise. Princes also shall worship because of the Lord that is faithful and the Holy One of Israel. And he shall choose thee. Thus saith the Lord in an acceptable time. Have I heard thee, and in a day of salvation have I helped thee? And I will preserve thee and give thee for a covenant of the people to establish the earth, to cause to inherit the desolate heritage that thou mayest say to the prisoners, Go forth to them that are in darkness. What did Yeshua say in Isaiah 61? He, he has come, he has been sent to set the captives free and to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Go forth to them that are in darkness, show yourselves. They shall feed in the ways, and their pastors shall be in all high places, and they shall not hunger nor thirst. He'll have mercy on them and lead them 
If in by the springs of water shall I guide them? That's Psalm 23. Verse 18, Lift up thine eyes round about, and behold, all these gather themselves together, and come to thee. As I live, saith the Lord, thou shalt surely clothe thee with them all, as with an ornament, and bind them on thee as a bride doeth. Uh, before I show you this, let me just show you one more thing in Isaiah 50. This is part of what they'll be reading this Shabbat. And here are the New Testament um, references to this. I'm just going to read 4, 5, and 6. The Lord God had given me the tongue of the learned, that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. He wakeneth morning by morning, he wakeneth mine ear to hear as the learned. The Lord God hath opened mine ear, and I was not rebellious, neither turned away back. I gave my back to the smiters, and my cheeks to them that plucked off the hair. I hid not my face from shame and spitting. We know who this is. This is our Lord Jesus. Let me let me go ahead and read a couple more verses. For the Lord God will help me, therefore shall I not be confounded. Therefore have I set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be ashamed. He is near that justifieth me. Who will contend with me? Let us stand together. Who is mine adversary? Let him come near to me. Oh, boy. Someone's being getting ready to be cast down. Behold, the Lord God will help me. Who is he that shall condemn me? Lo, they all shall wax old as a garment. The moth shall eat them up. Yeah, this is a warning. So interesting when you go to this Wikipedia page about Tishbiov he gives all the history and whatnot the five calamities the twelve spies which um, as I mentioned was is talked about in Deuteronomy 1 chapter 1 which is where the word bees is first mentioned according to Bible Hub but sometimes they don't list all the verses. Um, the first and second temples are destroyed and all these other calamities. So, oh my goodness. Oh, um, I can't remember. It's on to our calendar as far as, is it in Zephaniah? As far as, um, and I haven't even looked up any of these yet. Um, I just have to point something out. Um, right here it says, this is how we, this is how we know that we can't know for sure what day is what, because none of, none of the, they don't jive. So anyway, um, here it says that the Jews were expelled from Spain on July 31st, 1492, and they're saying it was the 7th of Av. So I just plugged it in on Torah calendar just to confirm. The 7th of Av on Torah calendar for, for the year 1492 was July 3rd, not the 31st, so there's a discrepancy there. Right here, I just want to read this real quick. The sages also teach that the Jewish Messiah will be born on Tisha B'Av. We know who that is. It is not our Messiah. So, that's all I wanted to share, guys. I, I think I have some more I will share later today if I get anything else. I love you. Shalom.